Hi, I'm John from Cruises with Friends. As you know, internet on cruise ships can be quite expensive, with prices starting at $13 a day, but these are going up to $20, maybe even $30 per device per day. At those sort of prices, you're unlikely to purchase more than a single device. But one of the things you can do is to set up your own mobile hotspot within your cabin, allowing you to share multiple devices through the one connection that you've purchased. And there are two ways of doing this. So one is to get something like this, which is a mobile router, and the alternative is to turn your Windows PC or laptop into a mobile hotspot. In this video, we're going to work through examples of setting up a mobile router and also how to configure a Windows PC to work as a hotspot. So let's get started. Starting with the travel router, you will want to plug the router into a mains outlet and after a few seconds, several of the LED lights should turn green, indicating that the device is ready to be used. Now connect to your router's Wi-Fi network by looking for the TP-Link network in your Wi-Fi settings. If you've already connected to the router before, you should be able to just connect to it. Otherwise, if you need a password, you will find it on the Wi-Fi info card that came with the device. Once you've connected to the router's Wi-Fi network, open a web browser and navigate to tplinkwifi.net or 192.168.0.1. This will open the router's admin login page. Unless you've changed the router's username and password, the default values will be admin. We recommend that you change the password and username as soon as possible. The first time you log into the router's admin pages, you will get a quick setup option. You can access the same quick setup through the menu on the left-hand side of the browser window. The quick setup is the fastest and easiest way to get you up and running with your router. You will select dynamic IP, followed by which network you want to connect to. This will be the cruise ship's guest network. There might be multiple options, in which case you will select the network with the best signal. If the Wi-Fi network on the cruise ship requires a password, you will enter that on this page. For most cruise ships, a password is not required at this point. If you want to change the name of the Wi-Fi network on your router, you can do that at this point. So for our router, we're changing the network name to Cruise with Friends, and we're changing the password to I Love Cruising. And we're doing that both for the 2.4G and for 5G. We are now finished configuring the router, and all we need to do is click Finish to save the settings. Congratulations, you have now configured a Wi-Fi network that allows you to connect multiple devices to the Cruise Lines network. All you need to do now is to connect to the Cruise Lines Wi-Fi network like you would do with a single device. Next, we're going to show you how to set up a Wi-Fi hotspot on your Windows PC. Click the Windows button on your computer keyboard. This will open up the search window. In the search window, type in mobile hotspot and select mobile hotspot from the menu on the left hand side. This will open the mobile hotspot settings page. Click the edit button and set the name that you want to use for the network. In our case, we're calling it Cruises with Friends Hotspot and also set the password you want to use for the Wi-Fi network. In this case, we're using I Love Cruising. To turn on the mobile hotspot, just switch the toggle from off to on. The hotspot will be enabled until you toggle it back off or until you turn your PC off. And that's all there is to it. Now you have a Wi-Fi hotspot that you can share with the other devices in your cabin. You can find a link to the TP-Link mobile router and a link to instructions on how to set up a Wi-Fi hotspot on our blog at cruiserswithfriends.com slash blog. We hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, please subscribe.